everyone, I'm down in our reptile house with Fergus, who is the biggest snake we have here at the farm. And you will probably remember a few weeks ago we moved him into one of the biggest enclosures we have in our reptile house. So we're here to do a little a bit of an update on how he's settling in and seeing how he's enjoying it. So Fergus is all curled up there um, under his basking light, so he's staying nice and warm. And the reason he's kind of curled up and being quite sleepy is I actually fed him yesterday, so he's kind of digesting that meal he's got inside him. He's usually actually really, really active in this enclosure, exploring all these branches and stuff and exploring all this plant. Now this plant I'm really proud of because it's looking really well. It's actually growing and he hasn't trampled it. So I'm very, very impressed with him. So he's doing really, really well. Another thing he's enjoying about this home is this big pond he's got. So usually he actually likes to spend, honestly, two to three days every so often just soaking in here and having a bath. And he seems to really, really enjoy that. I'm really, really pleased that these branches have actually held up. We did kind of make sure they were really, really sturdy because he is quite a heavy bodied snake. So we obviously don't want him like pulling the branches branches down and potentially injuring, injuring himself. So that's been really, really good. Yeah. Now, most of the things in this enclosure are working really well. His basking temperature from that light there is where it needs to be. He's getting a really good amount of UV light in his back skin spot from um, that tube UV system there. The only thing we're kind of having a slight problem with, now the temperature has dropped a little bit colder outside, is keeping the ambient temperature kind of, the temperature not in his basking spot. Um, still at a warm enough level. So we're looking at that to be about 24 degrees on the cool side of this enclosure. And at the moment, it's dipping a little bit with below that. And that is kind of quite normal. Boa constrictors do experience like temperature drops in the wild. But just to make sure like we're doing the best possible, we're giving him like the best possible care. What we're going to try and do is, I'm not sure if you can see um, the heaters in that lamp there. So we do have two of those. They're ceramic heaters, which the job of them is to kind of increase the overall ambient temperature. And we're thinking that those are just not powerful enough. So what we're going to try to do is unscrewing those ceramic heaters and kind of putting some bigger wattage ones in, in the hope that that's going to kind of help Fergus be comfortable all over his enclosure. It's kind of a problem we've only run into recently, but we're doing our best to solve it. I did say that I'm going to do that today, but kind of thinking about it, because he is digesting that meal, I'm not going to bother him. I'm just going to kind of leave it a few days and then crack on with that job, I think. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this update on Fergus. I'm not sure if you can see, he's just poking his nose out to say hi. So that's very nice of him to, you know, let us know that he is enjoying his new home. So we do have a, quite a lot of exciting things happening in our reptile house over the next few weeks. So you'll have to stay tuned and watch out for those. So from me and Fergus here, we'll see you later. Bye.